Capricorn, I hope that you're doing amazing. Welcome to my channel, Adrian Nelson here. And this is a love reading for you, and we're focusing on 8 till 14 August, so whenever you see this, the right time for you. Okay, so we're going to look at your recent past, we're going to look at your current energy, what's coming towards you, what is your overall energy, clarify that. Look at maybe some challenges that it is that you might be facing within this connection, and also some good news from the universe. Okay, so nice, full, jam packed reading. Okay. Alrighty. Woohoo! Look at this. Now, this is really amazing. Starting off there with Leo energy with the sun. Current space, we've got some Aquarius energy there with the star. Um, we've got some Aries energy. And overall energy, we have got the seven of pentacles. Okay. So, wow. This is for love. This is amazing, Capricorn. This is a space where, um, you know, things can really pay off. So if you're in a space where, you know, you either maybe recently got engaged, you recently went into a connection, especially if you recently got married, you know, or accepted that sense of marriage within your heart, maybe you made some vows or things like that, that commitment that you made to a person, it really pays off incredibly well. It really, really pays off incredibly well. Okay, um, in the recent past, you've got the sun, you've got the six of swords, and you've got the knight of um, pentacles there for you, okay? In your current space, we've got the star, we've got the six of cups, and you have got the eight of wands, okay? And there's also those two six energies there on top of each other. This one recent past, this one in the current space on top of each other, so the one flowing into the next. And then with the energy coming towards you, Capricorn, you have got the ace of swords, um, you've got some Libra energy here with the, um, with the balance taking place. And then you also have the three of pentacles for you coming your way. This is really, really super amazing. This is really, really super amazing because, <clears throat> sorry, I can see that in the recent past, there's that connection opening the heart even just with the energy of love, even if you're not with someone, you know, I feel that your heart space is really opened, like your, your vibe was really high, your vibration was high, your energy was high, um, your confidence levels may be high, you know, really sort of feeling that who you are, that beautiful space, it's really, really amazing, I really, really love that. Um, yeah, just working with the energy of love, going forward, taking risks, putting yourself out there. You know, maybe um, maybe this could be someone that, you know, if you're dealing with someone specifically, maybe you met them through, you know, maybe some friends set them up or like, a, like, like, like maybe somebody you met via like an app or something like that, like a dating app, you know, or... Somebody just made that suggestion and said, you know what, Capricorn, this is somebody really amazing for you to be with. You guys really compliment each other. I really see something there. And, you know, I feel that you just went out there. You were just your beautiful Capricorn self. You said, okay, let me do this. Let me see how this goes. You kind of went into things, I feel, with a sense of wonder, with a sense of like, well, let's see how it's going to go. And this could be that, um, I don't know why, but I get like a feeling on my forehead right over there. You know, almost like when somebody like a boom almost hit you with something not necessarily hurting you but it feels sort of like uncomfortable I don't know if any of you might have that sort of experience um, but that's just what I'm feeling when I'm speaking about that um, so maybe one of you bumped your head or something like that um, maybe didn't sleep well or you know that sort of thing but then I see you going out for what your heart desires so things may have started out of you know you're in a high vibe you're in a good spirit suggestions were made and you said oh well let me go do this see how this is gonna go and then you know there's sort of like feelings that started to come in and you thought like oh well maybe this person could actually be part of my life maybe this is not a bad idea and um the universe was actually on board with that plan the universe was like well you know, light bulb, um, this is not a bad thing. And then I feel that there was some inner work that you needed to do. Some of you might have still had, um, you know, some loose ends that you needed to, um, you know, that you needed to tie up, okay? Maybe, um, maybe you still had a bit of a, a complicated situation there with the ex or another person or you know the thing where sometimes we're not exactly with someone anymore but if you're going to be with someone else you need to kind of still have that little bit of a conversation with them you could have been that sort of space where it was over but it wasn't really really over 
and I feel that you're in that space of releasing that, of finding that balance within yourself, of sort of releasing, um, because I feel for some of you, you might, the situation that you might be having that I just spoke about, it might be with someone that you thought that you're going to be with this person for the rest of your life, and you know, you're going to be together forever, there, there's that sense over there, and it's very difficult to sometimes move past that sense, you know, because I mean, at the end of the day, we're only human beings, and we only have feelings, but um coming towards you once you're in the space where you're setting free and you're releasing because this is a space of getting clarity clarity on what action that you actually need to take next you know the tying of the loose ends and the things and then going forward i feel that your heart space is just opening so before there with the sun energy in the recent past that could have just been you being in a much sort of like higher vibe energy you know um and then you got into that space there with with the with the star card in your current space where you know there was more a sense of a alignment so there's more sort of like the two of yours energy together and this is you committing you know going forward with the ace of um with the ace of swords this is you realizing but this is the one this is that balance that is coming about there you know with this justice energy here for you with that libra energy there for you maybe you're dealing with a libra maybe you're dealing with a leo you know you could be dealing with an aquarius i'm only going to look at the major arcana ones coming out but um, it could also be that that's within you or maybe that's just the energy that you're vibing in in the moment as well you know we don't only need to have certain elements in our chart to be vibing with a particular energy because say what overall energy is going on at the moment so maybe like like recently there was the moon that was like the full moon in Aquarius everybody would have felt that you know because it is a very predominant sort of energy um, and if you take an example like that for example Capricorn um, the human body consists about like 60% of water and the moon has got a definite impact on water because the moon the the, the, the sort of like the pull of the moon the energy of the moon is what causes the ocean to have waves and movements so you feel that as well so in that way everything impacts us and affects us okay um, but it's a new beginning here there's a new beginning from the space of balance so from this realization and the space of balance there is a new beginning taking place here where I feel that you're not even considering the past you're focusing forward okay let's clarify let's clarify the current energy the seven of Pentacles Right, so we've got the Three of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Stars, which is the Ten of Wands. Okay, so, um, this is just getting better and better, this reading, by the way, <laughs> you know. This is, um, this is, this is um, reasons to celebrate, beautiful reasons to celebrate. Again, if any of you did recently get like married or anything like that, congratulations. So excited for you all. It's a beautiful connection. So if you maybe had some doubts or not certain, any of those things, it's a beautiful connection. You are dealing with someone, and I feel for some of you this is still a, a concern. You are dealing with someone that is realizing that you are, that you are the one that realize your worth. So there might be a space here that you may be dealing with someone that is connection comes from someone that's sort of like maybe just broke it off with someone and then they connected with you and so while you might be happy there might be some sort of doubts and concerns in your mind still um, but there's no need for that to be because there's a complete sort of like separation from the previous energy and there's a complete connection with your energy now beautiful stuff okay let's look at the star Okay, so we, I, I've drawn the cards for the star. I'm going to put them in, in reverse so I don't look at them. Um, I'm first going to look... Okay, they say to me, just do it the way that it came out. I don't know why I wouldn't do that. So in the current space, we're going to look at the current space before we look at the recent past then. So we've got the chariot. So there's some um, cancer energy, the queen of pentacles. And we also have the Ten of Swords. Lots of endings, lots of beginnings, okay? So this is someone that, yeah... They, they're on board. They, you're really dealing with someone that's on board. You know when we speak about for better or for worse, you are dealing with a person that is taking for better or for worse 100% seriously. Okay? Um, they they want to work with you. You're dealing with someone that wants to build an empire with you. They're an empire of life with you. That is, they left all the past behind. The, the old them is gone. It's dead. It's forgotten. It's, it's buried. It's almost like it never existed. Um, okay, so let's look at that recent past. And we're going to look at the Six of Swords. Nine of Cups, Two of Staffs, Eight of Staffs, and Staffs is Pentacles. Okay? No, not Pentacles, my apologies, Ones. But together it comes to quite a Pentacles energy, which is a beautiful, fortunate energy. 
Um, yeah, in this connection, you started to see your hopes and dreams. This person made you see, I feel almost what it is that you really wanted and you may have been in a little bit of denial for a while. No, I'm okay, I'm alright on my own, don't really need that. Um, this person made you realize that you could actually have a beautiful connection with them. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. And it might not necessarily be that it is that you're going to be with them, but I, I, I definitely feel for you that it's the person that you will be with. You know, there's that beautiful um, prosperity there. Let's look at the Ace of Swords and the energy coming towards you. So Nine of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Star again. Okay, So this is letting go of patterns that is not serving you well. Um, Scorpio type of vibe. Um, so for some reason I feel that it's, it's almost and this is literally the words that I'm getting so I'm just going to give it to you like that you're dealing with someone that's not just going to roll over and die and I feel that for some of you it's a significant wording or phrase or sentence really um, for the rest of you, this is old patterns releasing so that that beautiful new pattern can come out because it's, it's almost like there's a sense of separation between the two of you. So there's a gap that needs to be sort of like covered, you know, meeting each other halfway, sort of like um, kind of building a cross, uh, like, like a bridge basically, you know. Let's see what else is coming towards you. Clarifying that um, justice card over there, you've got the fool, so you've got some Aries energy, seven of pentacles and three of pentacles. Um, new beginnings, new balanced beginnings, healthy new beginnings, okay? So not you, you're not dealing with somebody who's, who's kind of like, you know, crappy and got sort of like, a, you know, like a manky sort of background plan. This is a person with good intentions. This is a person that want to be with you, that want to build a new space with you. I mean, look at this, Three of Pentacles. So this is the one clarifying now and this is the one that I'm about to clarify next. So it's going into that space, that new beginnings. Um, Lots of seven still stability, promise. Let's look at what that three of pentacles has got for us. That should be really, really interesting. You've got the knight of pentacles, you've got the six of cups, and you've got the page of cups. Um, I feel you're going for it. I also sense you forgiving yourself for not actually making this connection sooner. You might be dealing with someone that you don't actually realize that this is the one for you. Um, but it's a beautiful opening of the heart that's taking place over here. I feel that for many of you, you're seeing that the person's the one, even though that person might have been there for quite a while, you just didn't actually sort of realize it, you know? So again, it's not like your friends on them. It's more like um, you just didn't think that that is how it, things are going to go. It just didn't cross your mind. Let's look at some challenges in this situation. Some things that could be challenging in this situation. Some things that you might want to pay attention to, work through. Alright, so we've got the chariot in reverse and then we've got the hero friend as well as the nine of cups again. Okay, um, this is not a space to be stubborn. You know, I feel that for some of you, it's almost, a, there's almost like, it's, you know when you sometimes have that realization that you like someone, so you look, oh I really like that person, but they better be knowing that I'm not going to do this, this and that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't do that, don't go there. Because this is a space of new beginnings and yes, it's got its challenges, but it's also got its promise, okay? It's got its challenges, but it's also got its promise. Let's see what is some good news that the universe would like to share with you, Capricorn, for the connection. You've got two cards, Messenger of Water, which is the Knight of um, Cups, and you've got the Three of Earth, which is the Three of Pentacles. So this is a space in which you can take risk. Again, this is a new beginning. So we've had three of pentacles three times now. And there's a real power in three, a real strength in three because about our inner strength. This is a real powerful connection. It's almost like the reason why you were born. This is almost like your life purpose. And now that you've recognized it, it's almost like, you know, when you sometimes recognize things, everything just starts to work for it because, you know, you never saw it and now that you've seen it, you can't sort of unsee it. it it's actually really, really beautiful. I love that very, very much. So that's what I've got for you, Capricorn. I hope that helps.
Um, I really appreciate you liking the video if it resonates with you, commenting, sharing and subscribing. Remember to hit that notification bell. If you want to have a personal reading with me or regression hypnosis with me, please send me an email. My email address is down below in the description. Also, just to let you know that from the time I'm putting out this reading for about two weeks, I've got quite a bit of time as I normally do to do readings and regression hypnosis. Well, I don't always have that much time, but yeah, you know what I mean. But after two weeks, I might not be able to actually do um, readings or regression hypnosis for a period over there. So if you want to have a session with me, do send me an email so you don't miss out on that. And if you'd like to learn to read the tarot for yourself, there's a link in the description for that as well. From my heart, namaste, love and light.